The Cat on the Doverfell by Peter Christian Aspionson Once upon a time there was a man up in Finnmark who had caught a great white bear, which he was going to bring to the king of Denmark. Now it so happened that he came to the Doverfell on Christmas Eve, and there he entered a cottage where a man named Halver lived. He asked Halver if he had a room available there for his bear and himself. "'May heaven never help me, if what I say isn't true,' said the man. "'But we can't give anyone house-room just now, "'for every Christmas Eve such a pack of trolls comes down upon us "'that we are forced to flee, "'and haven't so much as a roof over our own heads, "'to say nothing of lending one to anyone else.' "'Oh,' said the man, "'if that's all, you can easily take us in. "'My bear can sleep under the stove yonder, "'and I can sleep in the side-room.' "'Well, he begged so hard "'that at last he was given leave to stay there. "'Halver and his family prepared to depart, "'but before they went, "'everything was made ready for the trolls. "'The tables were laid, "'and a great feast was prepared.' There were bowls of rice porridge, boiled fish, and sausages, and all else that was good. When everything was ready, down came the trolls. Some were huge, and some were small. Some had long tails, and some had no tails at all. Some, too, had long, long noses. They ate and drank and had a taste of everything. Eventually, one of the little trolls caught sight of the white bear, who lay under the stove. So he took a piece of sausage and stuck it on a fork and went and poked it up against the bear's nose, calling out, Hello, Puss Puss! Would you like some sausage? Immediately the white bear rose to his feet, growling, and he chased the whole pack of them out of doors. The following year, Halver was in the wood during the afternoon of Christmas Eve, cutting wood before the holidays, for he thought the trolls would come again. While he was hard at work, he heard a voice in the wood calling out, Halvor! Halvor! Y yes? What, what is it? Have you got your big cat with you still? Uh, yes, that I have, said Halvor. She's lying at home, under the stove. And what's more, she has now got seven kittens, far bigger and fiercer than she is herself. Oh, then we'll never come to see you again bawled out the troll away in the wood. And he kept his word, for since that time the trolls have never eaten their Christmas dinner at Halvor's home on the Doverfell.